Welcome back to Moosing Chemistry. Today we're going to find the pin of elements. First of all, what does the pin stand for? It stands for P for protons, E for electrons, and N for neutrons. Now, let's take an example of an atom. We'll look at a lithium atom. Lithium, there's the nucleus symbol, Li, 3, it's the atomic number, which represents the number of protons. And 6.94, which represents the AMU, which is the number of protons and neutrons. So now let's set up the pen. P, E, and N. We'll give each one their charge symbols. There are three protons, and since atoms are electrically neutral, there are three electrons. Now, we have 6.94 for the atomic mass. So the number of neutrons equals the atomic mass unit minus the number of protons. So that would give us 7, because we don't have 6.94. So 7 minus 3 equals 4 neutrons. Pretty simple. Let's try and clear this and do another one. So let's look at the atom zinc. Zinc has 34 its atomic number and 65.39 for its AMU. So again, we're going to set the pin up. P, E, and N. And then we give the charges. So zinc has 30 protons, and since it's electrically neutral, it would have 30 electrons. Again, we figure out the number of neutrons by the AMU minus the number of protons. So we have 65, we round it down, minus 30 equals 35 neutrons. So it's pretty simple to find the pin. We'll try one more, and let's pick another one. Um, how about yttrium? Yttrium, nucleus symbol is Y. The atomic number is 39. And the atomic mass units, the AMUs, are 88.91. So now we're going to set our pin up again. P, E, and N positive, negative, and of course neutral. We have 39 protons. Again, because it's electrically neutral, we have 39 electrons. And now we want to know the number of neutrons. So we go AMU minus P. So this would be 90 minus 39. So we'll get that number really quickly. So we got 90 minus 39, and that would give us 51 neutrons. So we put 51 neutrons in there, and have an amazing day.